We started planting on Monday, May 4th, so a little over a week ago now. And um, we started planting barley for silage, and then we planted some grass and some fava beans. And now we're planting peas, so we're gonna go and check that out. The drill's out in the field right now. We're gonna go film with the drone. I don't ever do any planting. Uh, I've never done it before. I'm usually hauling manure and stuff like that and um, rolling or harrow packering or there's a ton of other jobs to do it's just never something i've had to do so my dad's also spraying right now he's doing some burn off so we go spray the field kill off any weeds that are in the field before the cedar goes over it just to make sure that the seeds and the crop that we're planting is going to be the only thing growing out of the ground right away the weeds will come back eventually but um, this really gives our crop the best chance of getting that first start there's a ton of weeds coming up too. It'll affect the yield. They're gonna suck up water and they're gonna take up space. And then our crop isn't gonna grow as nicely and as evenly. So we're gonna go check those two things out with the drone right now and um, try and get some nice shots. So that was our sprayer. It's being pulled by the Bueller Versatile Genesis there. And uh, it's a 135 foot pull type New Holland sprayer. It's manufactured by FlexiCoil. Uh, it's a pretty decent sized boom on there. And I believe he was spraying Roundup and he was trying to get 10 gallons an acre down. He had some other chemical in there for cleavers. It's a type of weed we have up here. So he's putting two chemical down there and uh, he's putting it down pretty heavily. That's why he was driving kind of slow and he's just burning off all the weeds before the planter comes and seeds all the seed in there. So now we're gonna go check out our drill.
So that was the drill out in the field there, planting some peas. Uh, it's a 62 foot Borgo drill with a 6550 seed tank behind there, uh, which means 550 bushel seed tank. And we can cover quite a few acres in a single day with that thing. It's really quick and uh, it's just a solid drill for us. It's pretty overkill. We're only seeding typically, you know, 2,000 acres or so. We have 2,100 acres, but usually we have a couple hundred acres of alfalfa that doesn't need to be seeded. So it's seeding around 2,000 acres a year and it easily does that in the spring for us. So it's an awesome drill. It's pretty big for us. I know there's a lot bigger, but um, I always enjoy watching that thing go. So that field my dad was spraying there yesterday evening is an 80 acre field that we're gonna plant canola in this spring. And uh, so we killed all the weeds in there and now I wanna run over it with a Harrow Packer Bar because last fall I was injecting manure onto that field which made it a little bit rough. So we gotta go over it with that Harrow Packer Bar so that it'll smooth it out a bit. So this is the Harrow Packer Bar. I got the roller off of it and put this thing on there. Basically it's got a bunch of Harrows on there. And then it's got some big packer rollers on there as well. So we got it all hooked up and then we noticed there was a flat tire on there. There was one there, we took this one off already. I tried pumping it up, but it holds absolutely zero air. So we just took it off and we got another one right here. So we're gonna try and switch them around using this machine right here. So it says right there, tire needs 52 PSI. So we got the air hose clamped on the tire here. We got a little gauge with the foot pedal. And we just fill it up like that. We got that tire back on the Harrow Packer bar there and if I did do a good job editing, it kind of looked like I knew what I was doing a little bit maybe. Uh, but that was the first time I ever took a tire off a rim and put a new one on there with this machine. I just watched a YouTube video on how to do it and uh, they're pretty good. They do a pretty good job explaining of how to use that thing. So I was able to figure it out and get that new tire on that rim there. That's awesome, now I'm gonna grab this tractor and the Harrow Packer Bar and head out to that field and level that thing out. I just came out to the field here and ran the hydraulics that let this thing down just a little bit because I gotta take those safeties off. And this hydraulic line here just started spraying oil. I'm gonna call the boss man and ask him if I should put it down because I don't wanna put it down, I'm scared it's not gonna come up again. But the drill's supposed to come here this afternoon and this field needs to get harrowed right now. So we might just say, okay, we'll put it down, it probably won't come back up. We'll just park it on the side of the field and um, the drill can come here and seed it and we'll deal with this thing later. So I'm gonna call the boss, my dad, and uh, see what he says about that. One of the hydraulic hoses just started busting oil out. Pretty bad. I probably can get it down, but we might not get it back up again. 
We're gonna put it down and when we're done harrowing this field, we'll just park it somewhere out of the way. Um, let's try, see how it goes. She looks good to go, so we're gonna start harrowing this field. I injected manure here last fall, and you can see the ground is super uneven. There's a ton of trenches in here, and we just wanna flatten it out. We're gonna be seeding canola here, and it's really important that canola seed doesn't go too deep in the ground. If you planted it too deep, you know, two inches down, that canola would never come up out of the ground. It's gotta be really shallow. And if we just left the field like this, pulled the drill through it and didn't level it out at all, a lot of those seeds would end up going too deep into the ground and our immersion rates from the seed wouldn't be that great. So, so we just came out here with the harrow and it should flatten it all out. I was going up and down just to do the headlands here, but now I'm gonna start going at an angle so I can hit these ridges head on and uh, really flatten this field out. to fold this thing up if it wants to go up. I'm pretty sure it'll be fine and uh, drive back to the yard. I'm gonna bring the wheel loader out here after I think and just press all of the crap back into the trees here. So when I lift it up, all this straw stuff in this entire harrow is gonna be all left here and it's gonna leave a decent sized pile of crap here and it's no good for the cedar to go through that. So we'll probably come back here with the wheel loader and just push that into the tree row. Let's try and fold it up. She's up into transport mode. We put the safeties back on and now we're gonna rip back to the yard. Awesome, so this field should be perfect now for the drill to come in and see that canola. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons down below. Check out the Instagram at SaskDutchKid and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.